We have membership for the long time of Club Credit Program. We've been doing this project this past six months. Let us help us with perceptions, stereotypes and judgments of people who are the same as us but different in their own special ways. We came up with five ideas. We looked at the advantages and disadvantages of each idea and decided to make a DVD project on the perceptions of black people. We decided on this because it is interesting and we found a lot of background information which we researched on the internet. During the programme we learned more about people with disabilities, young people from different ethnic backgrounds such as Polish communities, traveling community and other races. We learned about the effects of racism, sectarianism and our own identity and stereotypes people have. We hope that by the end of this DVD we change your perception and ideas towards the black community and show you that these people are no different than you and me. Did you know that in Derry, a city with a population of 107,877 people, only 171 people living here is either black African, black Caribbean or listed as black other. Have you ever been a witness to a moment of racism? If so, how did it make you feel? It made me feel angry that the fact that they were slagging them. Yes, and it did not feel nice. Have you ever heard a racist term made towards the black community? Yes. Um. Terms that I wouldn't repeat. Um, there's some really hurtful things that people can say to each other, um, and of course these things are, you know, rotten. There's no need for people to speak like that to each other. I don't think. I'm sure all the usual ones, and I have to say, I wouldn't be comfortable. I wouldn't be comfortable repeating them. I, I, I don't. I don't think you're right, and I even I understand your question, but I would not be comfortable in, in using the terms that I agree with people describing us. I actually know what it feels like to be the only white man in a group of 200, and it's not very comfortable, so you can imagine it takes a lot of courage for them to get involved with us. Personally speaking, I got along with uh, everyone. I was brought up in a way to see people as people, and so. I think, to be honest, all that's kind of changing these days and people do see each other just as human beings for the most part. Not only members of this black community in the city of Derry, but those in the Irish travelling community, Pakistani and Polish communities are discriminated against because of their race, the colour of their skin, their nationality, their accent or first language, their age or their ethnic or national origin. It could be anything like, you know, they dress different from me, so I'm not going to be friends with them, or they have a weird haircut, or, you know, I don't like the colour of their skin. Well, it's the same if we're insulted, like, I mean, if something, somebody says something personal to you about something that you're not feeling comfortable with, like, yeah. if you happen to have a, a big ears or a big nose or whatever, like, and somebody refer, it's the same, same sort of term, like, if somebody's doing a personal attack on you. During the group's research for this project, the girls conducted a survey asking people between the ages of 11 and 25 to share their opinions on the black community in Derry. Even though the results showed a majority had no negative feelings towards the black people. When asked to describe a black person in one word, 26% of young people used a negative term to describe this community. As much as you say 26%, I think that if you quiz people more and ask them deeper questions, they maybe come to a different conclusion. Those words are very limited um, and there's meaning behind every word. If you look up the dictionary and you look up the word black, for example, I often wonder why are black people called black when they're not really black, they're kind of brown or a light brown. And why are white people called white when we're not really white, we're a kind of creamy beige colour. If you look up black in the dictionary, some of the words you'll see are mistrust, um, danger, you know, um, insecurity. Whereas if you look up white, it's kind of like you'll see pure as snow, light, good. So subconsciously, I think people have a kind of, you know, fear of difference. I think that there was more of a population, was more multicultural, I think the, the attitude would change it, but uh, the lack of experience of it, and, and to be honest, I have to say, you know, my, uh, my upbringing, my viewpoints and all the rest, it very much came from my parents or my peers. You can't expect a young person to have uh, completely different views from those 
people, there are people, right? And so what have they say that is the, and it's probably the responsibility of the older generation for the younger people's views. Either that is they have them because of them, or they have them because the older population haven't done anything to change.